Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my brand new PowerPoint game video today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day over there. Also, I want to say a big huge thank you to all the viewers, subscribers, and contributors. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. If you want to help out this channel even further, you can like, share, and comment. It will help out, help push this video out to other viewers as well. You can grab this free PowerPoint game template by clicking on the description box below this video and I'll provide some links and you can download the games from the link. Also, if you're new to this channel and you want to, you want to get more awesome materials like this, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. All right, so let's take a look at the brand new PowerPoint game. Let's hit the play button here. Uh, here we have our title screen here, Shaky Fries. The start button's right here. And below that, we have three buttons. We have um, the support project buttons. Uh, if you click on this, you can um, support more projects. And how to play button, we'll go over that later. And the visit channel. You visit my channel for more awesome, awesome PowerPoint games. All right, so let's take a look at how we can uh, play this PowerPoint game. So let's click here on how to play. And here's the rules. Uh, first, you can play it in a group of four or play it one on one. It's really up to you. Uh, you click on the ketchup on the bottom right of the slide for the QA. So click on that and answer the question. After the answer to the question, you click on the ketchup packet on the question box to reveal the answer. After the student answer, they can click, uh, you can click on the ketchup packet again to remove the question from the screen. If the answer is correct, they can play the game by clicking on the number on the fries. If they get a safe fry, they get a point. However, if they get a bad fry, minus a point and their turn is over. After that, you can hit the reset button, which is the barbecue sauce here at the bottom uh, right of the slide to set the game again. Continue the game until one team gets all the fries on the scoreboard. Again, you can play this game however way you want. This is just one way of playing the game, uh, but you can use it however way you want with your class, with whatever grammar or uh, vocabulary you want to use. So let's hit the go back button here to go back. All right, now we're back at the start game uh, screen here and let's click on the start game here to uh, begin our game. All right, so here is the main game board. We have the scoreboard on the left with four teams, team one, two, three, and four. And you can click on the fries here to add their points or you can click on it to minus their points. All right, here is the fries with the numbers and this is the barbecue reset button and the QA button here. So let's click on the QA here. You can edit the question by writing your own question up here. You can add your own image here. Click on the ketchup packet here to reveal the answer. You can edit the answer too. Click here to remove it. And now they can choose a fry. So they can pick two fries. Yum. Now let's add two fries on to yum, 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 yum. Again, click on the ketchup here. that will bring up the question. Click on the ketchup packet here to reveal the answer. And then you click on the ketchup again to remove the question and answer. Now they can pick two fries. Tasty. So this one is safe. Pick one more. Number four, this is also safe. Yum. And again, click on the ketchup for the Q&A. All right, so here we have the question and then we'll click on the um, Q 
ketchup packet on the right here to reveal the answer. And now we can click on it again to remove it. And they can choose two fries here. You can have them pick as many as you want. It's really up to you. Yum, 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 yum. Um, you can do two, three, four fries at a time. It's really up to you. Now we add the fries here. And again, um, they can choose any fries here. So this one is safe. Mm. And let's choose number 12. This one is also safe. Yum, 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 let's yum. see if we can pick a bad fries. In this case, you minus so the point. So let's remove one of the fries here. And reset the game. And again, after answering the question, they can pick some fries by clicking on the number here. Yum. All right, safe. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do three, uh, two, uh, two. Oh, it feels Oops, so good. This one is a miss, a bad fry, minus their point. Again, click on the ketchup to bring up the question and answer. And if they get it right, they can choose a number here. Let's choose number nine. Oops, oh, that one's bad. No, I don't. And we can reset it again. All right. So now that you know how this uh, game works, let's see how we can edit this game to fit our lesson. So start by hitting the escape button. So let's just escape out of here. And I suggest that you edit your question on slide four. Right now we have the question, the Q&A on slide two, but it's easier to edit it on slide four. So let's remove all of this from slide two. Let's open our selection pane here. And we want to go here where it says Q30, and we want to go all the way to where it says Q1. All right, so let's select Q1 and picture one here. So let's delete that, all of this. And also this one right here, delete this ketchup uh, button here. And that looks okay. And now let's head down to slide four, click on that. And now we can edit our uh, Q&A. Right now there are 30 Q&A, but you can add more uh, Q&A uh, later, and I'll show you how to do that. So this is, uh, here it says um, Q30, A30, and Picture30. Uh, these are pairs, so uh, you want to edit it in pair. So let's scroll down to question number one down here, and let's start from number one here. Let's open question one, answer one, and picture one. And let's just write something in here. Um, let's see. Um, uh, what? Let's see. What do you? What do you do on Sunday? And then let's put the answer here. Um, put whatever you want. I. Let's see. Um, I study on Sunday. And let's add an image. Right click. Go to change picture. Choose from a file. And let's put an image in here. Let's see. A Let's pick this one right here. All right, and then we can click on hide all and let's go to QA2. So question two here, answer two, and also picture two. All right, let's add a different question here. Uh, let's see. Um, what did, uh, let's see, what did she do yesterday? All right. And let's put an answer here. Um, let's see. Uh, she walked yesterday. She walked yesterday. And let's put an image here. Let's right click and go to change picture from a file. I just put an image in here. Let's see. I think this one's okay. And let's insert that in. All right. Awesome. Let's hide that. And let's go on to answer three. Question three. Sorry. Question three. Answer three and picture three. Let's put a different question in here. Let's see, um, how about, uh, how does he look? And then here we'll put, um, let's see, uh, he looks, he looks angry. All right. And then we'll just add an image as well. Right click, go to change picture from a file and we'll just find an image to fit our question here. I think this one's okay. All right, that looks good. And we can hide that and we'll move on to the next 
question. So let's minimize this a little bit here and let's go to Q4, A4 and picture four. And let's put a different question up here. Let's see, is it heavy or light? And for the answer, we'll put uh, it's heavy. And then we'll add an image here as well. Oops, misspelled that. <laughs> All right, let's change the image here. And let's choose a picture to go with the question here. Okay, it's maybe this one. Awesome. All right. Now that you edit all your question and answer and add your image, uh, if you want to add more slide, just scroll all the way to the very top where it says Q30 and A30 and just click on that. And we're going to, we're going to make a copy of this. So choose everything here. Make sure you choose question, picture and answer here and copy it and paste it in. And now we have our new QA and picture. But we want to give this a name. We don't want to call it 30, so we'll call it 31. And we'll call this answer 31 and picture 31. And also on the card here, we want to change it to 31. And here, 31. So it's easier for us to track. Now we have to animate this. So let's open our animation here and open our animation pane. And we scroll up and we'll see our new question here. We want to put it under the catch up button, uh, QA button here. So we want to move this down the bottom here. You can just drag it to the very bottom or here, or we just go to uh, triggers and on click and we want to put under the catch up QA button. So click on that and there you have it. And that's all you have to do. Uh, now you want to show all. And you want to copy everything here, all the questions that you edit and the picture. And you want to copy that and paste that onto slide number two. So this is the easiest method that I recommend that you do. So here we have our uh, slide two. We paste it in there. Now all we have to do is scroll down and find catch up QA button. We want to move this underneath the barbecue button. This one right here. We want to drag that underneath the barbecue button here. Oops, let's just do that again here. Uh, there we go. All right, so now that it's behind the barbecue button, so it doesn't uh, look too funny. You don't have to do that, but it just makes our our game look a little better. All right, so now we're here at the start game page here, the title page. So let's click on the start button uh, to see what that looks like. All right, now we're here at the main game. And now let's test it out by clicking here. What do you do on Sunday? Click on the kitchen packet here. I study on Sunday. And now they could pick any fries they want. Let's give them three fries this time. Let's choose four. And let's do one more. Let's give them. Let's give them another one. Okay. All right. So they got three points here. All right. So click on the ketchup here. What did she do yesterday? Let's reveal the answer. She walked yesterday. Awesome. Now let's click on the ketchup packet to remove it and let's let them choose three fries. All right, number nine. And let's do another one. How about ten? Uh, how about three? All right. And yum, 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 yum. Let's give them one more. How about this one, number two? Oh, it feels so good. Bad fries. Minus point. All right, let's do it again. How does he look? He looks angry. Awesome. All right, let's give them three fries here. One. Again, it's really up to you. You can have them pick two fries, three fries, four fries. It's really up to you. It's um, you make the rules. All right. Maybe, oops, that one's bad. I don't. All right. Let's minus a point and reset it, and let's check out the QA again. Is it heavy or light? It's heavy. All right. Let's pick three fries here. Let's click on this one. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Got a point. Let's try another one. Maybe lucky seven. Yum, 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 yum. Maybe one more. Uh, maybe this one. Oh, it feels so good. Oops. All right. And then just click on the barbecue to reset the game again. So that's how uh, this. PowerPoint game works. 
If you have any questions, you can write it in the comment section below and I'll definitely take a look at that. Again, I want to say a big huge thank you to all the viewers, subscribers, and contributors. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. If you like my PowerPoint games, don't forget to like, share, and comment. It would really help out this channel a lot. Also, if you have any uh, game suggestions, you can write it down in the sec comment section below and I'll definitely take a look at that as well. I'm working on a few new PowerPoint game and I can't wait to show you guys when they're finished. If you're new to this channel and you would like to get more games like this, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you can get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. Again, I want to say a big huge thank you to everyone for making this channel to what it is today. I hope you guys enjoyed my PowerPoint game. I wish you the best of luck in your classes.